one of the most influential folk rock stars of the 60s and 70s. In the music industry from a young age, David Crosby rose to fame when he became a founding member of The Birds. America's answer to The Beatles, their debut single, a cover of Bob Dylan's Mr. Tambourine Man, made it to number one. After a turbulent period with the group, he was fired. He then formed a supergroup with musicians Stephen Stills and Graham Nash, who were later joined by Neil Young. Awaiting a word. But Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young broke up after a few years. When a band gets together, they're crazy about each other because they love each other's music and it's all very exciting. Forty years later, it's not. Despite both groups splintering, David Crosby was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice. I think the music that David Crosby was making in the 60s and beyond has a real sort of global impact now, just because it's so, it's the sort of music you imagine existed forever, but obviously someone had to make. And um, I think you can hear its influence in music scenes right across the world. Throughout his career, he dealt with a drug addiction and was also arrested for drug and weapons offences. Former bandmate Graham Nash has led the tribute, saying David was fearless in life and in music. He leaves behind a tremendous void. Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys says David was an unbelievable talent, such a great singer and songwriter and a wonderful person. And singer Melissa Etheridge, who Crosby donated his sperm to, said he gave me the gift of family. I'll be forever grateful to him. David Crosby leaves behind the legacy of a folk rock pioneer and a global fan base who credit him with a 60s musical revolution. That was Amelia Harper there with a look back at David Crosby's life and legacy.